Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yuleno TV. I hope you're well from whatever you watch this channel. I'd like to start this session by appreciating you so much for making this channel grow. If you wish to support us, just subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. Loyalty, faithfulness, fidelity to the party will be number one consideration. If we doubt you, if we think that you are going to bed with our opposition, we will not allow you to hold any office. So the move that ODM made to expel the five rebel uh, politicians who defied ODM's call to abide by the policies and demands of uh, the party were allegedly expelled. Out of the five, including Tomo Jenda, Elisha Udiambo, you know, Esther Pasaris, Jalango, out of the five, the one who has been debated the most is Felix Oduor. Uh, you commonly know him, know, know him as uh, Jalango. Another person is Tomo Jenda, the Senator Kisumu, who, according to what I saw, I say that he will work with William Ruto whether they like it or not. That is the response that Tomo Jenda has issued after that alleged expulsion from the party. The second person who has been vocal on this matter is Felix Oduor. And Felix Oduor has said, and when he was talking to uh, a radio presenter, the name Alex Mokideo, he was asked, which party he now belongs to. And he said, ODM ni Araila, Naraila Janifuza. I think uh, there was a chance that was given to Jalango and the other four, total five politicians, mm. to defend themselves. That's why they were taken through a series of those disciplinary co committees. They were hard. There's a time there, I, first time when uh, this uh, co disciplinary committee started uh, hearing the, the cases, it was alleged that Jalango did not intend to show up. He said he was going to send someone to represent him. Hiyo ilikoni madarao. Because the party wants to deal with you directly, and then you're sending someone in the form of a lawyer to represent you. Whereas when you're seeking that mandate to be a flag bearer of that constituency, you came in person. You did not send a lawyer. So now when it comes to disciplinary actions, you are sending someone. So that time, there was that kind of allegation. I didn't follow up on that matter to know whether that is what indeed he did or rather he or he opted to just now go there by himself. But then there was that allegation that Jalango had uh, opted to send someone to represent him. There was allegation that it's going, it was going to be Tom Ojenda, who is also one of those people who have been accused to be going to bed with the Kenya Kwanza regime. Some people have advised Jalango to dump ODM and join UDA. If you feel that you're man enough, join UDA and then you will still be propelled to that position. That is if you feel you're man enough. But then that is a decision. We don't know whether Jalango will take it. But uh, most people are telling him that if come on, come on, on attack on a UDA, so when a UDA. The same was told to Tom Ojenda. Tom Ojenda was asked. Why didn't you join UDA or Katiule? <laughs> of which I understand Hamon Manyora also responded to the person, the, I mean, the Twitter handler by the name, or hex handler by the name Sadat, who told uh, uh, Tom Ojenda that Iki or Katiule, uli, you were given this chance to join the bottom up uh, uh, debaters and you refused. Why didn't you join then? And he was told that now we are giving an opportunity to now join Uda officially. I think these people, I thought they were just, they were going to be some kind of remorseful or they were going to be apologetic in a way, but from the sentiments from the two leaders, the two leaders, 
inaonyesha dhahiri kwamba they don't give a damn and that's why yalango responded by saying chama ni Raila na Raila hajanifukuza but then there is something else also that i noticed uh, in throughout this call that i started by telling you a call from uh, uh, i think was it tv tv radio 47 yeah i think radio 47 that call from alex mokideo to jalango so uh, there is a part there that uh, jalango talked about you know that he was asked this is what the the, the presenter said mheshimiwa jalango kwa sasa uko kwa chama gani maana yake ulitimuliwa nje ya ODM so jalango said kwa nini sina chama wewe nani amekuambia chama ni Raila na yeye hajani hajanitoa chamani so, so jalango went further to tell mokideo that i can tell you to go and take this to any bank jalango will be mp until 2027 okay that's what he said and uh, down there he talks about from the tweet uh, from the from from this tweet he talks about a series of court battles with the party and if he suspended and his position declared vacant then he's ready to go back to the people i mean this is a jalango who is still defiant and saying that yeye atachukua odm kotini aspeleke odm kotini sambamba mpaka 20 2027 now if at all he is suspended then he says that he will go back to the people so that is where now it becomes interesting he will go back to the people and vie on which party definitely jalango the most immediate party would be uda na kama si uda ni maybe udm ama independent candidate as an independent candidate So what are the chances that uh, Yalango who will secure this position if he goes as an independent candidate? And the question is why didn't he go as an independent candidate back then if he trusted in himself and if he knew that he did not have mwelekeo kama sasa hizi hivi. Si angesoma tu independent. You see the good thing with being an independent candidate ni kwamba you can be swayed any way na usiambue na mtu chochote. So if he was man enough that is what he would have done the same to tomo jenda if tomo jenda thought he was man enough to an extent that anaweza ku challenge raila molodinga yeye basi angefanya hii kwamba angeenda kasimama kama independent candidate aingie none of these five politicians can make it if they stand as independent candidate that is one thing that i can also tell you for free and you can take that to the bank none of them will survive tomo jenda out of the question elisha juma karole omondi how to survive that's a reality David Ochieng who was on this green party survived because he clinged on Raila Molodinga's coat he was holding there alikuwa na hang tu pale and that's why he managed to become an MP and soon after becoming an MP na alipoenda pale kwa bunge ndiye akamgeuka Raila Molodinga pap sema kwamba yeye ana support Kenya kwanza that's why you find that there was that debate over majority leader minority leader akasema yeye amejitoa kwa kwa, kwa azimio yuko Kenya kwanza that's why numbers za uh, Kenya kwanza ziliongezeka ongezeka za jubilee zikaenda huko zikaenda huko zikaenda huko that's why Kenya kwanza had to take over the leadership ya uh, majority leader so i maintain here ladies and gentlemen for fear without without fear of or contradiction that Jalango's chances of securing a second a re-election or rather when he goes for that re-election his chance of securing it very slim He might believe that ni yeye and alif, aliweza kufika pale lakini rest assured if he was not given the ticket angepata angepata completely So let's leave this matter there but what we know is that Jalango is going to go to court according to what he says and also he's saying that he will vie on a different party or probably just for on, a, on an independent as an independent candidate that is the, the toll if at all courts decide to say that you are suspended as requested by the party tribunal or your party's tribunal so ladies and gentlemen i'd like to rest my case there but until you catch up again in our next analysis kindly give your comment below the comment section and also to those people who have not subscribed to this channel i want to urge you kindly to go down the subscribe button and click it once 
by that you will make this channel continue growing without you this channel cannot be where it is so until you catch up again please stay safe and stay blessed